it really was within like the first two weeks of the program where there was just so many layers of the food I was eating, the mindset, all of it together. I was just feeling more connected to myself again. Not only has it helped me physically, but it's also giving me this new feeling of confidence and that I was not expecting at all. I honestly mm -hmm. feel like it saved our relationship. I feel like it saved your life, actually. What's up, beautiful warrior and wake up world? Boom, I'm Diane Kayser. <laughs> I am the founder of DianeKayser.com and creator of an amazing women's transformative program called CHI, which stands for cleanse your body, heal your hormones, and ignite your life with or without your partner, which is why I've got two people over here. Wait, this this side. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about one woman's amazing magical journey on her magic carpet yoga ride toward many things that she was struggling with. And she had gone to many different places to try to fix them. And she said, I'm sick and tired of this. And she landed on my doorstep. And you can see over here, it will just say his name. Mike Meyer, but two people over there you see is Michael. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Michael. Michael, uh, which is an amazing name. Um, he comes from Austria and then his significant other, which is my client Marisa on the other side. So uh, they're going to talk today about uh, Marisa's journey. And Marisa came to me, uh, this is about three months ago. She's completed her program now. Um, let her story inspire you guys. And then just before we even get started, I'm going to share this on my wall. Um, so Marisa, if you want to share with me first who you are, share with the tribe who you are. And also, what do you do for work? So my name is Marisa Reyes. And uh, together, Michael and I have Purple Lotus Massage and Wellness. So we offer massage, but the, the massage that we do specifically focuses on abdominal and then Mikhail focuses on the medical. And we also host wellness events. So we're all about just like creating a space where people can, can activate their parasympathetic nervous system. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does that mean? We'll talk. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. But to just chill out and because I know that's something that I wish most for ourselves and mm -hmm. love being able to share that space with others because I feel like that's like our intention is to help people heal their bodies and heal, mm -hmm. heal their minds, heal their souls. And so it, it all happens when we just chill out. <laughs> yeah. And, and what does is, what is chill out even look like? And why is that so important? Many people today are very protective of their time and their energy. And they're like, well, I don't have enough time for things. And they think that they don't have enough time. Um, but really, when we sit down and we, we commit ourselves to a specific goal or dream that we have, then we make the time and we find the time. So today we're going to talk about a lot of things because um, if you're the kind of person who's like, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough energy, um, just give me a pill, just give me a quick fix. This is not the video for you um, because Marisa did some really hard and very heart work to get where she is right now. So if you think this video is going to be about a pill or some sort of a quick magical thing that you can do in like a day and just to numb out, then to tune out because this is not for you. And so I'll save you some time on that quick tip right there. Um, but this is a video and this is a woman's journey of total transformation in a very short time period because she was committed to this dream, to this outcome. If you're committed to your, you can only be one com committed to one thing, and that is your nightmare, which is your hell, or you can be committed to your dream and your vision and your future, which is your well. So, Marisa, I'm going to first start with asking the question of um, what were you experiencing about three months ago before, when you first came to me? What were some of the, what was part of your hell that you were experiencing and you wanted to get out of that? So I had been, we had both been traveling through Austria and Thailand. And it was while I was in Thailand, I had this cough, this lingering cough that had gone on probably for like, I want to say eight or nine months. And then it was in Thailand where it turned into stabbing chest pain. Mm -hmm. And I came home and I thought like, is it a muscle? And then it turned out it was walking pneumonia. And I had had respiratory issues ever since I was a kid but never really put all the pieces together. And it wasn't until after like listening to 
Eat, Play, Sex with you and Kat. It was probably like six episodes in where I was just like, wait a minute. You're listing off all these health things, you know, like the libido and fatigue and all. And I'm like, holy crap, that's, that's me. And I always considered myself very healthy, you know, because I teach yoga. I, like, I thought I ate healthy um, and just realized that what I was doing was not working. So mm -hmm. it was, it's the respiratory issues, which was leading to so many other things that I just never really made the connection until after our first conversation. Yeah. And, and for those who you're watching, um, Eat, Play, Sex was a, a podcast that I hosted with my very dear friend, Dr. Kat Meyer, where you talk about all things healthy food and, and health and, and healthy sex and loving sex and loving yourself and self-love. Um, and of course, this is all these are all things that we want to bring to you that are like free tips and free things that you can try at home. But many people like Marisa are in this place where we're like, I have been suffering for far too long. Like you said, pretty much a decade and more. And it's like, how long, how long do we have to suffer before we do something about it? And how many things like trying one new recipe or one new pill or whatever, how far will that really get us to remodel and rebuild our entire inner body? So when, when we get to the point where, our marriage and our life and our work and our kids' lives are on the line, we have a big choice to make. And so you get to pick one. You, you can pick and be super committed to your hell or be super committed to your well. And what we're going to talk about next is these symptoms that Medisa had, these were things that she decided she wanted to be rid of. And they were anemia. They were frequent headaches. They were asthma, chest pains, respiratory issues, chronic cold with a lot of symptoms that came with it, and chronic fatigue, kidney problems, and more and more, and the things that come with that. So we look in the mirror every day and we go, I don't feel like I'm, I'm in my body anymore. And we think that we need to take a drug or go see a doctor and get these lab tests. And we keep going back and forth going, there's nothing that we found. Like these lab tests are inconclusive. So it's very confusing because we're all taught, go see a doctor when you're not feeling well. And so Manisa, when you went to the doctor, when you're with your frequent colds and pneumonia, which is so common today, so many people have pneumonia and it's like walking pneumonia. And I always think walking dead, like zombie style. Cause it's like how you feel. Um, yeah. But when you had that, when you were suffering with that, what was the solution? What have you been trying? What have you been trying at that point? Uh, I think I was going to Western medical doctor weekly for almost two months. Nothing that was actually going to make any improvements. Like, great, I'm anemic. So now what? Their only solution was here's an antibiotic or we think maybe you might have malaria. So do you want to take some malaria medication? <laughs> like, no, no, I don't want to take any pill. I just want to get healthy. Um, so it was really frustrating to like go to like a professional who is there to help us. And really it's like, they're, they're really great for diagnostics. Mm -hmm. um, but that was about it. I didn't feel any... I didn't, I didn't receive any like healing advice from, from my doctor. And I feel like that's kind of been the case ever since I. Yeah. Um, now you and you and Michael, uh, you met how many years ago? Was it three years ago? And how was your sex drive then? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> we were also traveling, you know, we had traveled for about a year and a half together and I came home and then I got married and then everything shifted. And I was like, oh, is it because we're married? Like, this is what you hear. All these stories about once you get married, everything changes. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to fall victim of that story. Mm -hmm. And so when I heard you and Kat talking, I'm like, oh, my God, okay. Okay, if it's my hormones, then that I have power over. And I can make the changes to make improvements. And thank God that's true. And it's also been, and that's what, I mean, I don't know. Can I start talking about what I loved about your program? <laughs> like, oh yeah. We'll get to that in like question 16. You're ahead of me, but <laughs> obviously <laughs> Medisa, Medisa is really stoked on her transformation and, and how she applied herself. So we'll, we'll get there. Um, but I wanted to, to speak to Medusa. Uh, Manu had mentioned, she says, yes, always pills, pills, pills. And of course, you know, how many medications did they um, recommend, prescribe, put you on? Had you been taking with all of these respiratory issues and, and anemia for a while? So many. They had even put me on prednisone when I had oh. prednisone. 
And this was when I was in my early 20s. Oh. I didn't know any better. So I was just popping the pills thinking, you know, this is what's going to help me feel better. How many and rounds? Was, oh, it was probably for like a week. And I One. think they... Uh, they they gave me two, and my aunt, who's a doctor, was was like, "Don't do that second round. Like, you should not be on that. That's for people with like cancer." So, yes. but yeah, prednisone. You know, all of, I've done all of, like the Claritin, the nasal sprays, all of that stuff, and none of it's worked because it's all addressing the the symptom, right? It's not going to the actual the source. So, like, I just yeah. You know. I wonder. I wonder if anybody who's listening can relate to that. And I would say raise your, raise your unicorn hoof, but this is going to be later on a podcast. Or so for people who are listening live right now, we would love to hear other comments and any questions that you guys have. So during this, if you guys are inspired, if you're like, oh my gosh, this is moving me so much, please, we'd love to hear from you. And then also if you have any questions, if you want to talk to me and reach out, this is what this whole video is about, is to really share people's stories of transformation so we can all rise together. And to speak to what you just said, Marisa, prednisone turns off your hypothalamus and it it all it does is it numbs out your body's ability to actually register histamines and which are the allergic things that, that our body responds to when they're allergic to something and so it causes this reaction so all it does is it cuts off this the ability to communicate that from the brain to the cells that's all it does it doesn't get rid of any of the histamines or your body's reaction to oh i don't that thing that mold or that food or it doesn't change your body's response mechanism to a thing it just your body can't see it or feel it just like pain medications so we then in a sense in essence we have then disconnected from our bodies and our body's mechanism of action to clue us into hey mom that's danger don't eat that don't do that don't breathe that in or get away from that and then what I see commonly on lab tests is that it turns off that hypothalamus so much, which is your HPA, little tidbit here for education, uh, hypothalamus communicates to your adrenals and your thyroid to make hormones. So when we just take these pills without knowing the consequences of it, it could cause long-term disaster. So I'm so glad, Medisa, that you started to ask the questions of there's got to be something better. So and um, Victoria actually says, no pills. I'm seven and a half months pregnant. I need healthy change that won't create a birth defect. Absolutely. Because these pills don't just create health, a birth defects in our babies. It's what's happening to us that creates unhealthy babies. So nice comment there, Victoria. I really appreciate that, that reflection. Um, so Medisa, we are going to start talking now about what you've done. Um, what did you discover in the program that was one of the biggest blocks that was blocking you from your health goals and your dreams? I realized how important it was to be constantly cleansing. And I think uh, I had, like, would do a cleanse here and there, but, like, it wasn't, I never thought of it being as a daily process. And so to be given all these different health protocols, cleansing protocols, I felt that was super helpful. Michael, what would you say were... Um just from a partner perspective, what were some of the things that you experienced in Medisa before she started this journey? How did you see experience her struggle? And then how did you struggle? Two part question. Well, in a partnership, clearly yeah, you affected how the other person feels as well. Um, and when she is in her emotional, like everybody knows that a woman are emotionally and this is okay. But if someone is unhealthy and the hormones are out of balance and Everything is just not working well, even if it looks like from the outside it could be, but it did not. Um, I was really, really um, sad. I was trying to help and I couldn't help. I didn't know what to do. I felt helpless, really. Um, and yeah, as, as a man, of course, I have a sex drive. And, but I don't want to put it on my woman. I want her to feel inspired to actually want to have sex with me. Right. And... So that was my internal struggle a lot. I just uh, felt I didn't get it enough and like I couldn't support her in a way. And like it was just this whole circle of like trying and like not knowing what to do and like holding space, trying to be the masculine. But yeah, it it, it was not it was not fun. How did that impact you? I mean, emotionally, um, I mean, anything, how did it impact you other than feeling hopeless just about um, you? Were you thinking, gosh, I'm less of a person. Does she like even love me anymore? Was there any of that going on? Yeah. Oh, totally. I felt I'm not enough. I feel like I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. I, I, 
I just, I'm not loved. Um, is that the right person for me when I fall? If, like, did I, did I do the right thing? What, what's happening? Um, I just don't feel loved. And that was huge for me because I just, like, I had, like, breakdowns and, like, just, like, trying to and was in my fight and flight mode. So I got right. unhealthy because if I'm, if I'm in my parasympathetic nervous system, meaning I can recover, but if I'm in a fight and flight mode because I try to fix everything which doesn't work at, at all, it's like putting a bandage on, right? So we just right. talk about it. it does, doesn't, we have to cheat from the rule. And I had some knowledge, but it was not as deep as, as you, of course, do with a, as a functional nutritionist and a hormonal specialist. So. Yeah. So this is, this is the part where they say, happy wife, happy life. You know, it's like, yeah. it's true. It's, it's that having support for what you said and, and throughout the interview, we'll talk more about too, like why this is so important to have a, a partner that supports you in this journey, because I've had many women who uh, embark on this journey and to go to transform and heal and the significant other is not on board and it will always pull them back to where they started. So if any of you guys watching have ever tried to embark on a new you and eat healthier or just take, you know, to make better healthy decisions, then it's, you know, the importance of having somebody who is, is, will support you. Most people who go through this program are people who've been trying all kinds of healthy things. And most of the time their partner's pretty healthy. Um, it's just that they've hit a dead end road. They've tried many things. They've seen many doctors. Our average person sees over 10 doctors in the matter of a year before they even find us. And then they go, wait a second, this makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe I should give this one a try. So that's how Marisa found us, found me, um, and why we're doing what we're doing, why she did what she did. So it's, it's really important to consider too, ladies, is that our health is, if we are suffocating our partner from sex, sex, their sex life, then they're, they maybe are going to go somewhere else for it. So it's a, it's a very big conversation that needs to have and to support one another through it. So it's like, okay, you're going to make this decision to change yourself, to transform yourself. There's nothing broken about you. There's just some things in balance. So let's do this together. Uh, and, and Michael, what were some of the things that, that you experienced doing this, um, this program? What were some of the things that you experienced as side effects that were pleasant? Like, wait a second, all of a sudden, my symptoms are getting better. Oh, there was so much. Um, just she started cooking three meals a day, which means <laughs> all of a sudden so much more time to like do other stuff and, and getting fat, healthy. Um, her just excitement and her like happiness like radiated out to me. Like I was like, yes, this is amazing. She feels great. I can, you know, I don't have to struggle anymore to like try to lift her up, which didn't work mm -hmm. anyways. But... I just can be in my flow as well. And, and then of course her, her libido went up and there was like, it, it changed my whole life perspective. And then, and after like a few days, I'm like, wait a minute. So we invest in her to do this beautiful program and I can just be next to her. Like, of course. And I was like watching videos like, oh my God, this is so amazing. <laughs> and then, you know, and then, yeah, and more and more. Yeah. I like how I, the word libido sounds so similar to liability. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, like it's not a liability. And, and I remember that, that email that I got from you that, that one day or there was celebration in one of our uh, videos and you're like, I'm s officially uh, excited to pronounce my sex drive back. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how, how long had it been Marisa? Uh, what were some of the things that I want to hear about your journey and what you experienced in your wellness journey? Um, as far as like the short term, cause your sex drive came back pretty quickly. And then what were the things that ensued after that? You know, it's interesting cause I feel like libido is something that I never talked about openly. And since I've started your program and I've been more open about it because I realized how many other women can possibly be going through the same thing. And so if we actually like speak about it, then we can relate and be like, oh my God, I'm going through the same thing. Like what's working for you? So that was huge. I mean, I had bought, we, we got married, what, three? So we've been together for four years. We got married three years ago. And I feel like it was the last three years. Like I mentioned before, as soon as we got married, it just like slowly started to climb. Mm -hmm. And it really was within like the first two weeks of the program where I was just starting to, I, there was just so many layers of like, whether it was like 
the food I was eating, the mindset, all of it together, I was just feeling more connected to myself again, more than I had ever before. Manu says, lovely to listen to you. Mm. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yeah, and, and it, it, it is, these things don't have to be an omen, you know, parasites and puke and you know, periods and, mm. uh, and, and, and penises who need to get love too. <laughs> And yeah. parasympathetic, what? Everybody has it and everybody does it and no one talks about it really. And sex is truly the highest place that we can connect to ourselves through another. And we ha it's cut off from us, it's cut off. Uh, why is that? So uh, I, what you just mentioned is parasympathetic and just for the listeners, if you guys are, are wondering what that means exactly is that the majority of us now are operating in this space of ah, run away from, I don't know what it is. It's my boss. It's my, it's my to do's. It's my schedule. It's, it's um, judgment. It's judgment uh, projection. It's, it's, it's uh, my parents or whatever other things that we're running from stuff. And we drive ourselves down into the ground into where Melissa found herself, which is where she had extreme adrenal fatigue. And this is a term that we use loosely. It's not that your, your adrenals get tired. It's the stuff that happens in your brain. So these medications, um, while they may give you short-term relief, actually damage your brain. And especially in the hypothalamus, with prednisone, it permanently alters parts of your brain and, and you can't get those cells back. But these are things that are not disclosed to us. And, and actually, this is what Manu has said over here too, is that I got so many pills prescribed and that's why I finally really killed my immune system. Antibiotics, cortisone, birth birth control. And this is such a common thing. It's not just you, Manu. It's not just you, Marisa. It's so many women out there. And we suffer. We think, okay, this, this just has to be the thing. Maybe I'll go back to the doctor, get one more lab test. Okay, maybe one more lab test and one more brain scan and, and, and one more um, injection or something. And we think that's got to be the thing. The doctors have to know what they're doing. But like Marisa said earlier, this is more of an acute care model than meaning going to the doctor and getting relief. It's more of an acute care model if like an arm falls off versus like a long-term issue where you have three years you've been struggling with something or your whole life you've been struggling with bronchitis or, or chest issues, you know, bronchial problems, um, breathing issues, whatever. So the parasympathetic state is where we can finally go, ah, oh. hmm. and that's in our brain and our gut communicates to our brain. So what we, our, our food affects our mood. And so parasympathetic is the rest and digest and sex. And then the other one is, is where we're stressed out and that's the fight or flee and run away and fight or flight. So when we get into this state, which is what Medisa learned in the program, we can be a receiver again. And that's what women are. We receive, you know, love making. we receive. And men have a purpose and they feel like they can give. And I'm, I'm just speaking to heterosexual relationships right now, of course. So Medisa, what, when you came to this program, what were the dreams that you had set forth for yourself? What were your goals? And then did those change in the program and are they totally uh, different? Did you exceed those goals or are you in a better place or did you meet them? What, what was your journey with all of that? Oh my gosh. When I started your program, I felt like, you know, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the healthiest, like zero being raw. <laughs> I only like got a two and I, I was happy to get at a seven. You know, if I can just like be done with respiratory issues and I would say from the program, not only has it helped me physically feel better, and even if I do, like I've had a little allergy attack, it's nothing like it was before. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also giving me this new feeling of confidence where like I'm able to do things like, you know, like this, get on a video with you and go on like a Facebook Live and start interviewing other people for my business. And that I was not expecting at all. So mm -hmm. I feel like I'm at like a 11 now. So it's been really cool. What are you doing now that you never imagined that you'd be doing? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so, okay. So for example, this last weekend when we went to the Unleashed dance party, right? Like I am so very modest. Like I don't, I don't like to show cleavage. I'm very, and now like I can just like, be in a sports bra and a like sexy skirt and like dance my ass off because I just feel so good in my body and not worried about like, oh, I feel like even though I've always been petite, I always felt like I still had a lot of fat around my belly. So I was like a chubby skinny. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I now have no reservations because I feel so 
good in my body from <laughs> all the coffee enemas, the castor oil patch. I'm like, holy crap, I didn't know that there could be this much transformation in such a short amount of time. Yeah, literally, holy crap. Yeah. But, I mean, you're happy your crap is holy now, but it wasn't before maybe so much. It was like smelly and 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 uh and toxic. So now it's it's a much different. Um if you guys could quantify it, I, it's kind of hard to, but the financial planner in me is curious. Um, you know, working with many women, I see a lot of women who are spending $500 on bioidentical hormones. That definitely wasn't you, but they're spending a lot of money like on a monthly basis for these things that they um, are doing out of relief care, but are still not addressing the root cause issue. So like, as an example, a lot of women are spending $500 a month on these bioidenticals and then multiplied by 12, that's $6,000 a year. This is so common. I hear this all the time and they don't feel that much better, but they're just doing what the doctor said and the doctors haven't looked at, well, how is their body even responding to these hormones? Is their body even using it properly? And so that's what we're going to talk about next is some of the things that we found in your lab test. But what would you say is, if you could even quantify it, how much do you think that you saved by doing this versus what the, the longer term projection future, how much you might've been spending on things that may have gotten you to feel a little bit better, but not across the finish line? I mean, I was doing like I acupuncture regularly in hopes that it would feel better. And that was like $75 a week, right? So like mm -hmm. times that by I probably 300, 300 a month. Right. So and then times that by, you know, the last four or five months I've been doing that. Um, but yeah, like for me, it's more of like the like the, the feeling Right. Like I would much rather just feel better. And I feel like that's what I've gotten out of this, but definitely yeah. worth every single penny. Like I feel like everything that I've gotten from this has had so much value. Yeah. I remember you saying that in the fourth week, you're like, I've already got my money back. That was really cool to hear as a, as your leader and now friend. Um, and if you could quantify this um, because people people really get it this way, right? Like how much more productive, how much more energy do you have on a day-to-day -day basis? Like, are you three times more productive, four times more productive, two times? How much more energy do you yeah. have? I would say probably definitely at least four to five times more productive. And well, here's the thing, like yesterday and today I was feeling super tired because I'm like day two of my moon cycle and just had a really busy weekend. But like coming back to that place of let me just honor my body and sleep in right yeah. and like be okay with that and i feel like that's where you really gave me permission to just not do anything right and mm -hmm. to celebrate that celebrate the fact <laughs> that like, i don't have to be busy all the time <laughs> yes i feel like it saved your life actually mm -hmm. because you went to the er at 2 a.m in the morning you couldn't breathe and that it's priceless even right and if we're going to talk about like yeah, because for me, it's it's beyond, like, the finances. For me, it's, like, our relationship. I honestly mm -hmm. really feel like it saved our relationship because I mm -hmm. feel like that's what one of the main causes of divorce, right, is sex. Right. And like you said, if a man's not getting it from the relationship, he's just going to stray and find it elsewhere. And so, yeah, I feel like it it's definitely helped our relationship big time. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he's totally right. Like, being an ER at 2 a.m. is miserable and terrifying T definitely terrifying this is another current reality for a lot of women a lot of people but of course specifically i support women and then of course inadvertently the men that they are with or the families that they're with or the women they're with or whatever uh the family because we all get to wake up together and um the women of the world i really believe that we women we put our, our ovaries together and our hearts together um we really can transform the world uh, because we're all about the health and wellness and the, and, and the, the love. So it's, it's a good point that Michael brings up because he got to see um, you on the observer side of, oh my God, she's like really not in a good place right now. What was that like getting up in the morning and going to the hospital? What was going through your heads? Uh, scary. It was just like, um, I honestly thought I was going to die, really. Like, especially because it's like they, you know, had the antibiotics in my IVs and they're like within half an hour you should be feeling better half an hour came and went and I was not feeling better and then they put me on some other antibiotics and it was just 
And then like a month later, still having the chest pain, not like I was not myself. I was not able to walk half a block without being like exhausted. So mm -hmm. it was, it was frightening. And why even waiting so long, right? Like we, like we, did, we didn't take action early enough also because we didn't find it and whatever. Um, it, it had to go so bad that we actually found you. So that, that, that there is, you know, mm -hmm. some grateful part of that, but yeah. Um, if she felt like she was almost dying, you can imagine how I felt. I didn't know how she feels. I just see her in bed. She can't move for weeks, for two weeks. She was in bed completely, and it was really, really scary. And Marisa, how old are you? How young are I'm you? I'm 35. <laughs> Like, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is another thing that, you know, she's in the wellness space and it's like a, such a, a stigma that we get in the wellness field that, oh, she must have it all together. You look so beautiful. They look like they have like the best sex ever. And like behind closed doors, people would not even know that you were suffering and you were like near death and that you guys were were um, struggling to connect. I mean, and you, you love each other, but it is true that half of marriages end in divorce and then their second marriage is like 67%. And the main reason for that is finances and lack of sex, lack of connection. And that was another thing you were struggling with before is finances, which is related to confidence and being in a space of, of abundance versus in a space of lack. So what you had just said about the saved my marriage part too, I mean, people are spending, and I've heard this many times too, we were spending $200 uh, per session with our therapist. And we were seeing that the therapist to save our marriage, you know, two times a week. And you do that math, it's 400 times four, and that's $1,600 a month uh, to, to try to save your marriage when really maybe it's just about saving your ovaries, <laughs> saving your gut, you know, um, to the point too, about the antibiotics is that many of these antibiotics and why you're experiencing what you were experiencing. And this is everyone listening is that uh, oftentimes they are not running tests to see if your body will even respond effectively to antibiotics. And so if you have resistance to them, they will just piss off your gut even more and it will proliferate the bad bugs and you fight, feel even worse. So there's a lot that they're, they're messing around with these drugs and not telling us what's going on. And of course you were in a, a crisis, right? You were like, I have to, I have to feel better now. Like maybe you were losing your life, but down, down long-term, if you're using the doctor care model for chronic care resolve, it's just not going to get better. It's going to get worse. So Marisa, as far as some of the other things too, on the lab tests, you know, were you surprised that when we were looking at a lot of the things we went over your labs, we had discovered that you had low estrogen, you had low serotonin and serotonin is your happy neurotransmitter at about 70 to 80% of which is made in your gut. And it helps with bowel motility and detoxification and being in a happy mood and being in a playful mood. And if you have low estrogen, you also are that's like our lube. If you have low estrogen, you might experience some vaginal dryness or just not being frisky in the bedroom. And you also had low potassium. Um, that's another thing that we looked at uh, that we, we can't see all this stuff on a blood test. These are, I have videos on that why blood tests fail for a lot of this stuff. And so we found that you had low potassium, which is necessary for thyroid hormone to work well. And in the sense you had hypothyroidism trends, we can never diagnose and we don't, but were you surprised to see that you had all of these issues and a predisposition for bacterial infections and, and your, your body wasn't absorbing zinc and that not that poor absorption also would mean that you could take all the zinc in the world, but if your body's not utilizing that zinc, you have poor immune system, you, you can't make testosterone very well or progesterone because that's what your body needs. That's the mineral that your body needs for all of those things. So when you saw those things in your lab test, what was going through your mind? Like what, what were the things that you were like, were you surprised by those findings or was it like, Oh, okay. I was honestly like frustrated. Like why aren't Western doctors doing these tests? Right, like my doctor took over two dozen tests and not one of those tests were able to tell me like what these tests were able to show. So frustration and like a little bit of relief, like, okay, now I know um, why everything is the way it is. Um, and it, it just gave me a lot more clarity as to how to move forward, mm -hmm. whereas with the test that I was getting from my Western doctor, I'm like, great, now what do I do? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so Michael, this is a question for both of you guys. Um, you know, people are always really afraid of surprises. So when, when you guys, on that very first phone call that we had, um, 
people who work with us at first, it's a little bit scary. You know, they're, they're afraid that what if it doesn't work? What if it's another thing? What if I still don't get better? What if, what if I fail, you know? So what would you say was one of the most pleasant surprises that you were like, Whoa, I it was totally different than what I thought or what, what, what was it that surprised you or made you the most happy about making all these changes in the program? One big thing was for me to enjoy the changes because we all like to hold on to our habits if, it, if they're serving us or not whatever it is mostly it doesn't serve us if it's a habit in 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 in, in, a, in a learned way like addiction versus commitment right right um, so and then celebrating all these beautiful changes we are doing in like in a fun happy way and like reminding us to celebrate that was a huge thing since you know we are mostly going for next point and then we have achieved that and then we go to the next step and to actually celebrating that part that was huge for me mm. the celebrations mm. lisa do, do you do you find yourself celebrating yourself more now yeah <laughs> Very and, I, and it was so awesome that i got to celebrate with you guys in la on sunday yeah. dancing our faces on because we <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome yeah it was it's one of my greatest my my greatest blessings is to watch you guys turn your um, lessons into blessings and then get to meet you face to face and then get to change the world together just by changing ourselves. So, okay, Marisa, I've got to stalk you on this one now. So if you could share with us, I know it's hard to, what was your typical day before you started the program? And then what did it look, what does it look like now? And do you feel like you're deprived with the changes that you've made? My typical day before, I feel like I had a really like simple, nice routine where I'd wake up and I, I do my half hour meditation and, um, you know, just get ready for the day, shower, brush and teeth. Um, since the program, do just doing little things like, you know, drinking my ACV with lemon in the morning. And now it's like three times a week doing my coffee and wow, it's yes. <laughs> I never in a million years would have ever thought that I would be doing coffee enemas. But it just felt so safe to have the support of the program and to be able to reach out for like, so is this what it's supposed to be like? Um, but yeah, that has been a massive change to how I was just like so energized afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I like I mentioned before, I just feel so much more comfortable and speaking my truth right and like I love just like going through it's not just the the physical part it's not just the physical body but like how you brought in like the whole the, the four pillars of like let's actually address like spirit like what's my soul goal what am I waking up every single morning for that that's a huge addition to my morning practice this is like mm -hmm. coming back to like what I've been put here for Mm -hmm. And when I'm feeling in a place of funk, like continuously coming back, it's like we are constantly like this. And that soul goal helps us remember like where it is we're moving towards. So, right, right. And that's, that's exactly it is, is a, a lot of us are saying yes to many things that are not in alignment with a soul goal and a purpose that we're not even in touch with. And so we just, we yes and should ourselves, we yes and should all of ourselves all day long and we spread ourselves fat. And then, I mean, you weren't overweight, but you were talking about inflammation. So um, you had to detox other things. Everybody's journey is different. Sometimes the excess toxicity and trauma and toxic thinking um, will store itself in your kidneys like it was with you and, and your, in your chest and your, hmm, what's going on here? It's my chest, it's my heart space, it's my heart chakra. Hmm. Is there something going on here in the, my lungs and uh, my stomach? I feel kind of powerless. And then we realize that if we clear our gut out, we we that's our solar plexus, is our chakra, and that's where we get more energy and like life. There it is. I wake up every morning for this. I have a purpose. Here's my partner. Wow, I do have the life that I've ever always wanted. I was just one thing was missing, and that was my health. And then boom, it all. I, I, it was so cool to see you glowing the day, like being like, oh my God, I'm my happiest life. I'm like, Diane's here and then my other healer's here and like, I'm living this life. It's so cool. Yeah. So Michael, did you get to see, did you see that through any of this, was Marisa deprived or did you feel deprived with anything? Was it torture? Was it like people think that making these changes would be like, ah, you already said that you were embracing the changes, but 
Um, was this was this difficult at all? When we start, I thought like, wow, what 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 that's going to be, and like, um, and I know Mori says very committed, and it's it, it it takes effort to do, but then seeing how much in her flow she is doing all these changes, um, was just beautiful to see and very inviting for me to be part of that whole transformation mm -hmm. into health. I mean, why wouldn't you be? And seeing her, how clear she is and focused and purposeful and there it was like really wow I, I want something of that like, i was really like looking up it's like this is amazing and that was after the first few days starting the program it's like wow we have like another two months almost left to transform <laughs> our lives like this is amazing i want to make time as much as i can to be part of this beautiful transformation yeah i always loved it when you were when we get on our call our calls together our because the program involves, you know, watching videos and implementing some things and then tribal support because studies are now showing that we all thrive better in tribe. You know, we, we all get closer to our goal way faster when we've got, you know, communal support and we see that other people are all lifting up together and we're all committed. So uh, that's why I, I shifted my practice to the one-on-one the -on -one model to the group tribe model about four months ago because I've never seen so many women succeed in such a short period of time and stay there and stay committed. So it, it's tribe, it's one-on-one -on -one support. And I loved how when we get on our calls, you guys were both there. And I'm like, oh yeah, Michael's there too. And, and <laughs> you know, it was really cool. It was, it's, it's very sweet to see it's, it's important to have someone supporting you there. Um, I wanted to ask both of you too, is, is what, do you, what do you see? Like if you holding a crystal ball to your immediate future, like now, if you're thinking about like, what now that you've gone through this magical butterfly unicorn warrior transformation like what, <laughs> <laughs> what what's next like what 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 things can you see and feel and and dream into now that you are where you are that you want to do and that you already are doing that you weren't doing before already i feel like we've been sharing everything that like i've been getting from the program you know, so like I'll tell people just like if you want to find out more about Coffee Animals, like Diane's got videos galore. So just like go online, you know, and so like it, I feel like it's definitely enhancing our own private practice, you know, because I'm realizing, you know, people come for us for a massage. But I know like what I want to offer is so much more than that. And so I like and that's what I so loved when we first talked is like how generous you are and with your information, just like how much you put out there. And so like there's a librarian part of me that's all very about like, let's just share, 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 because it's so important. I feel like that's how we're gonna help each other heal. And um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, for me, I have so much more energy. Like before when I thought like, yeah, maybe do like four to six hours of massage. Now I feel like I can just do eight hours and feel like totally energized during the whole time. I'm so much more present. I can mm -hmm. feel much faster into my clients what they actually really need without mm -hmm. like even thinking about it. Like I see it, right? I come in and I feel it. I'm so connected. And mm -hmm. then I just was in San Francisco for a whole week and, and I saw how much everybody needs sleep and I needed less sleep than all of them and I felt so energized and, and they even said like you brought so much fresh air into our lives and I feel like I can I live I live my dreams I always wanted to always wanted to do to just not push for health and push for things or just like have it within me and be a, an example so other people want to follow mm -hmm. really and also like remembering I feel like you did such a great job at reminding us about how like there is a part of us that like we're all striving for perfection, right? And it doesn't right. have to be mm. that. And to really like stop and look at like, what is it that's like coming up for us? So like, that's the heart part, right? So I, I love, all the, there's so many different layers. It's not just like Diane's a nutrition and she just has like nutritional facts to offer us. It's mm -hmm. so much bigger than that. And mm -hmm. I feel like it's something that, every man and woman should experience because I yeah. see a side of it. Yeah, so. clarity about it. Like, as I just totally. said as well, like, I realized my perfectionism holds me back from being present so many times. <sighs> and like before I knew it, I never went into it because I was like, well, whatever, do something else. And now with my clarity, my brain is so much faster. Like I can like, I feel the emotions coming out much quicker and can 
like be more present, not like being drawn into it. So like, look at it. Ah, okay, this is what's going on. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, awareness, awareness, totally. Big time. Yeah, Melissa, I loved what you had mentioned too about like I I'd never thought about becoming a health coach in, until its program and how you you fell in love with the 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 self love work that you did for yourself. It's kind of like a a self love school, if you will, but way beyond. It's like all the things like you said earlier. You were talking about how we feed four things every day. We're feeding our our mind. We're feeding our physical body. We're feeding our heart, and we're feeding our soul, which is our our our, our spirit. And today it's like very few of us are doing what we need to for our soul and our spirit. And you, you know, you teach Kundalini yoga, like of all people you talk of, you focus on that stuff every day already. So it's like people think that eating, you know, a, a more vegan diet and slowing down and getting married and doing yoga every day, like that's the ticket. That's what's going to get me there. But even still you weren't where you wanted to be. So it's just phenomenal and beautiful that you went through this transformation and we're putting this out there so that the people who are watching, you know, Marisa and Mikhail's friends and my friends, um, my, our followers that, that, that hopefully you guys get inspired and see a light in yourself in this interview. That's like, you know what? It's time. How much longer do I have to wait? How many more emergency rooms? How many more near death experiences? How many more arguments? How many sexless nights are you going to suffer? How many sleepless nights do you need to suffer? How much confusion and lack of clarity and perfectionism do you need to drive yourself into the ground thinking that one day it will change when it doesn't and it's a groundhog day and you're running yourself into the ground like a groundhog, bury head in sand, boom. <laughs> so, um, so Medisa, as far as, um, I guess like, as we close this thing out, what would you say to someone who's considering, considering going on a, a life journey like this, a, a transformative experience? What would you say to the ladies who are listening out there? It definitely takes commitment, but it's totally worth it. I know that the moment I stay committed is when I see the changes happening, mm -hmm. which is why I loved it was an eight week commitment although i wish i could have been longer i'm like i'll take more <laughs> i know that was one of the you said you're like i was like what is your biggest complaint and uh, so far is there any other complaints you're like no i just said i want more diane time yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then i came to la and spent the weekend with you <laughs> yeah. i was like i am a master manifester yes. that's what you get in this program too is you become a master of manifestation and you get the life the body and the energy and the relationship and the dream job all of the things that you want it's not that complicated it's not easy but it is simple and Marisa, you made it simple because you really had a heart attached to it. You were ready to be well and you were ready to be out of your hell. So um, this program is not for everyone. You know, most people when they come to me, I say, this is typically your last stop. Um, and, and then you go off and fly and become your own best healer of self, become your own best, maybe even a coach like Marisa is doing now. Um, and then I wanted to ask and, and, and finally ask Michael to, um, I'm saying Michael, but it's Mikhail and I'm not astute to saying the name correctly, but I, I always just say Eminem because it's cute. So Michael and Lisa. Um, for you, what last words would you say to the men out there that are skeptical about their partners taking a leap of faith like this to prioritize you know, self-love and self-care? Because so many women think it's selfish uh, to embark on this kind of a magical journey and their significant other may even see this as like, you're taking time away from the family. You're taking time away from me. Um, and they, and then women go, I can't do this. My husband's not on board or my partner's not on board. So what would you say to those who are out there who are thinking otherwise, and maybe some words of wisdom to them? First, it has to do with letting go of the fear of, of having your woman go for a beautiful transformation because you will benefit from that so much like I, I did. And I know every man knows that a woman is emotional. That's just how it is. But if the woman is healthy and then emotionally, the emotions go in a different way or not as often as they go through their emotions. So as, as a man, you have a much easier and happier and healthier life getting your woman into the program and even be part of that because yeah. you can. You can just be there and like share as much as you can and get, get all the benefits out from this whole beautiful program. Which is yeah, 
Absolutely. That's just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Nike do swoosh. It. Just do it. Nike swoosh. Yeah. So I think we've pretty much covered everything today, ladies and gents and warriors and unicorns out there, uh, mermaids and fairies and whatever other kind of magic that you want to become. Um, hopefully, Marisa's journey is here to show you that anything's possible, no matter your genes, no matter your age, no matter what your doctor said about you're screwed because of some condition that your mom had and you do too. And the only thing that you can do is surgery and just rip it out medication. I want you guys to think better about yourself and about your health. I want you to have higher expectations for your body. I want you to have higher boundaries and I want you to have a, a bigger plan for yourself, realizing that those are short-term band-aids and I can never say, don't listen to your doctor. But what I can say is become your own best doctor and listen to your own body and maybe if you don't know how to listen to your body, that's what this program and that's what I'm here to do. And in fact, that's what Marisa and Mikhail are doing in LA with their practice, with their wellness practice, their medical massage practice, and with Kundalini yoga teaching as Marisa is doing. So there are many people out here to teach you to become your own best guru. And that's exactly what I dreamed up this whole program. I dreamed this up and I'm living my dream life too. And in my dream body and with my dream energy and I went to three different countries when I created this program because I just wanted to bring all the magic from all these sacred places, you know, the top two being Sedona and also in Tahoe and then also in Costa Rica. Uh, so I, in Peru as well, I, I've been to many places creating this and it was because of you, it was before you. So I couldn't be where I am without you. And I want to thank you, Marisa, and thank you, Mikel, for being here today and for being here for yourself, you know? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Coffee enemas is not <laughs> it just it's happening regularly. And first of all, I was like, I don't want to do this coffee and I don't know, but is there any other way to do it? It's amazing. You guys may may think that's super crazy. Um, but the moment that you get past your fears about it is the the moment you realize and find yourself saying, I don't know what I was so freaked out about. And if we could have confidence about doing things that we would never thought would pro were possible, just little baby steps in a short eight week program instead of two years of ex like reading more eBooks and watching more videos and seeing more doctors and one on one sessions and like a, a one session treatment model, you know, see your doctor this day, go take like 12 supplements from a natural doctor and that doesn't work. We're not getting the root cause in our culture. And this is. And when we heal your roots, you can become the strongest tree blossoming the most beautiful flowers. And then you have so many beautiful flowers and so many beautiful leaves and strong, healthy branches and fruits that you have so much abundance because you could share that with the world. So if you take care of your soil and your gut, which is exactly what Medisa and Mikel are talking about with the coffee enemas, and that's not just the only thing in the program. We're just talking about it because it was like, <laughs> you know, it's just like the what? You want me to do what? There is so many more things that we do in this program, but there, there's definitely some adventure and there's definitely things where you're like, I never thought I'd do this, but it just becomes this new muscle, this courage muscle that you're like, if I could do this, I can do anything else. <laughs> so if you guys have been listening to this and you're like, you know what? I, I, I want to talk to Diane. I, I, I've been struggling for a long time. I don't care what health issue it is, you guys. I don't care what you've been told. I care about you, but I don't care about the myths and the lies because there are many of them. And there are hundreds and thousands of women that I've supported around the world who were told that they could not reverse these health symptoms, symptoms and ailments and conditions. And when we've worked with them one-on-one -on -one, in a very short time, we've gotten them off of many medications. Uh, they're symptom-free and their conditions are absolutely gone. And what it's replaced with is magic and manifestation and maybe a lot love, a lot of love making. <laughs> so uh, if you are um, listening to this and you're like, I, I just want to talk to Diane. I want to see if we're a good fit. You know, this is not a program for everybody. This is a program for people who really want to be married to their significant other still. And, and, and you don't have to be married, but they're married to their dreams more than they are married to their nightmare. And they're ready for the one thing that's going to bring them across the finish line. So if this is you, I have two invitations. Number one is that you can book a call with me and that's dianecaser.com forward slash breakthrough. Or if you're somebody who's like, you know, I'm not really sure what this Diane creature is all about. And like, I don't know what she talks about. And I'm a little afraid of coffee enemas. Like, is there anything else that I could do? <laughs> yes, absolutely. We have a lot of awesome, really things that we share in this Facebook group. And I'm going to pop that up on the screen right now. Uh, it's a free Facebook group. Uh, if you're watching this later or listening to this later on um, 
on our podcast. You can also just type in hormone healing hacks for unicorn wellness warriors. We may have to change the name. You know, sometimes we have to change it because of FDA regulations and whatnot, because I am not a doctor. I'm what's called a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. And we do have a naturopathic uh, doctor of medicine on our team, but we cannot say that we will um, treat your disease. We will not cure anything. This is a path that you walk on your own and we help you to facilitate the soil so that your body just grows back stronger branches, which are all of the 11 systems of your body. And just like a tree, you have 11 systems, just like a soccer team, you have 11 systems, 11 players. They all have to work together. They all talk to each other. And my job is to help you just create your own symphony so you can play the, the song of your soul that you came here to, to, to sing because there's magic inside. And when you're a two like Marisa was out of 10 and you turn yourself into 11, watch out world, a warrior is in flight. <laughs> so any parting words, anything silly that you guys want to say or anything that you um, want to recommend that, you know, it, it, there's like a, a thing that you think would save the world, it would be this. I love that it's a unicorn warrior tribe, right? That's what brings the play and the fun. And it's so important to remember that part of it. Because then otherwise, yeah. why are we doing it? It's not fun. So you did an excellent job, unicorn warrior sister, at making this very fun. Thank, Thank you. you, sister. <laughs> All right. if, it, if it's not fun, it won't get done, right? And that, and that applies exactly. to everything. Right, exactly. So, so treat your body. This is your temple, really. Like mm. we invest in our house, we invest, in, we insure our car, we do all of these things and then we cannot really enjoy them because we are unhealthy. And right. so investing in a body is the most important thing you can do for yourself and others because you're more present for them too. Yeah, it's self. It's selfish not to, right? Some people think yeah. it's selfish to take this step and take care of yourself, but it's actually the most selfless thing that you can do. Mm. That was pretty much a, a Michael, Michael drop moment, Mike drop moment. That's yes. the first time you've ever heard that. <laughs> Get it? Because his name is Mike and it's a mic drop moment. <laughs> but it's true. Like our iPhone, I just got an iPhone X. I just spent a grand on this thing. And oh, but if you want to get Apple Care, it's 200. And when you like leave Apple, you've just spent 1500 bucks or put yourself on a payment plan. What? How many of these gadgets and how much do we invest in our house and how much do we not invest in our body? Such a great way to end this podcast show video interview, Michelle. Thank you for saying that. If you don't have your health, then you don't have yourself. So this is your temple. It is the only vehicle that you get to live in the rest of your life, 80 years if we'd like, if you can. And yeah, you know, with these medications, you may live longer, but it may not be as fruitful because your soil is not cared for. So we work on root cause here in this space, in this tribe. And we totally invite you into our tribe. Women only, sorry. But then the guys uh, get to benefit from these women. Yes. So, yeah. So thanks, you guys, again, for being here. And, and enjoy the rest of whatever these fruits that will continue to grow in your tree because it just keeps getting better and better from here. Awesome. Namaste. Thank you, everybody else. And again, <laughs> I'll put the link on one more time in case you guys do want to talk with me. It's uh, whenever we have time and we roll this out, we get, uh, especially for this interview, uh, we make a lot of space for you guys to hop on a call with us. It's not always this easy to hop on our schedule. So a uh, free call, we'll just hop on a call and see what's shaking with you guys and see like, what are your biggest challenges? What have you been trying? What hasn't worked? And what are your goals? Where do you want to go? And we'll map out a plan from A to B and it could either be super squiggly and you can stay in the same place or I might inv invite you into the tribe if I think that you're a good fit. So I'd love to hear from you guys and talk with you soon. Thanks again. And this is Diane Kaiser from DianeKaiser.com and Chi Hormone Warrior Transformation signing out. Cleanse your body, heal your hormones, ignite your life. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.